be making bases. What's good YouTube, Be Making Basics back again with another video. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as go ahead and like and comment on the video. I do respond, but without further ado, let's jump into today's content. What we're gonna be talking about is what to expect when switching from GarageBand to Logic Pro 10, 10.5, okay? What to expect, okay? If you've been using GarageBand and now you just now switched, I'm gonna go over some things, or if you are using GarageBand and you're thinking about making a switch, this is gonna be the video for you. Again, go ahead and like the video if you like it. Um, let's jump in. So first off, let's go ahead and pull up GarageBand. Um, these two programs or dolls are very similar. Um, I, would, I would call GarageBand like the little brother to Logic, okay? So a lot of things are gonna be similar. So when you create, first get everything uh, cranking, you know you know you have different software in, like tracks you can create, software instrument, audio, and then a drummer track. Okay, um, you can choose um, your output device and your input device. Um, so you want to make sure you do that. I'm using this Scarlett Two I Two USB um, interface. So I'll select that and we can just get this software instrument track going. Boom. Um, so we're gonna also come over here and go to Logic and do the same thing here. Um, get a software instrument track started. Now, the first thing I'm gonna show you that is different or what to expect when, you, when it comes to uh, Logic compared to GarageBand, right? Is going to be sounds okay you're limited in sounds when you're using um, GarageBand just are you know you have some of these cool sounds right here these folders right here that you have you can go in they have a lot of sounds you can choose from but you're going to be limited I mean um, there's no inspector window over here where you can dig in deeper and get more sounds so like for instance when you upgrade to Logic um, with Logic Sounds, you do have the library of sounds right here that has all the folders and everything like that. But with Logic, you can come over here. This Once this is selected, this is called the Inspector. And you can click this guy right here. And then there's all these different other sound banks that you have access to. Alchemy being like one of these major ones that you have access to. And... Um, for you if, you, if you're brand new to this, what Alchemy is, is a sound bank that has like literally thousands of sounds that you can use and tweak and to make your own unique sounds and everything like that. So this is going to be one of the first things that you're going to notice that's different is your sound selection. Now, even also over here, when it comes to the loops, you have a whole lot more loops than what you have on or in GarageBand. Okay whole lot more loops and a lot more sounds you have some good you know arsenal with GarageBand but I'm telling you that that's gonna be crazy now the next thing that you're gonna really see a big difference in is mixing okay like I'm gonna be honest with you mixing in GarageBand is almost like impossible like you can get it done but it, it sucks, you know what I'm saying? Like, seriously, it, it really does suck um, when it comes to mixing. Like, you have to click this guy. You, 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 you're really not left with a whole lot of options. You're kind of mixing right here, turning things up and down, like in the workspace window. But when it comes to Logic Pro 10, like, they have a whole section for mixing, and you can do a, cool, a lot, whole lot of cool things. So, like, for instance, um, this is going to be the mixer right here. Literally, you have like a whole lot more flexibility. Um, I need to pull up a whole other session so you can kind of see this. I'm going to say close. Don't save. Don't save. So I'm going to pull up a session real quick just so you can see what I mean because it's kind of hard to see it just with that one track there. As soon as this pulls up, I'm going to show you like what the mixing capabilities are, you know, like so in GarageBand, like literally you can only mix right here for the most part. 
you know, you can come over here, move the levels up and down with GarageBand and everything like that. But with Logic Pro 10, you can come over here, click that button right there, and literally you have a legit mixer right here that you can add effects to, EQ, you can, um, you know, group the sounds together. So, for instance, say if I wanted to take my drums, I got my clap, claps, kick, snare, hi-hat, open, um, hi-hat, rattles, that type of stuff. And I say if I wanted to group them and send them off to an auxiliary track that I can process on its own. So, I would just go over here to output, and instead of stereo out, I just go to a bus, an open bus, and I will just send it to that. And now it's just going to route all these sounds over to this auxiliary track and I can name this drums and I can do cool things like you know EQ just all the drums at once here like and you know maybe add a, uh, a compressor just to make things punch more on the overall so there's a lot of cool things you can do mixing wise is a more advanced um, situation Another thing that I noticed that you could definitely do in, this, in reference to mixing is exporting all of your files as audio. Okay, so like for instance, you have this beat that you that I just made, right? In uh, GarageBand, if I had that same beat, um, I would literally just have to come over here and um, bounce everything down one by one by one, like soloing it out. And then bouncing it down, slowing it out, bouncing it down. So very tedious in GarageBand compared to here. I can literally just push Command Shift E, and it's gonna export all of this stuff right here. And I have different settings I can choose. It's well worth the switch, in my personal opinion. Um, another thing that you're gonna notice off top when it comes to creation, right? So. If I want to make some beats in GarageBand, I can definitely do it. But all they have here for me is the piano roll. So like I have to draw the notes in, which is cool, but there's a lot more that you can do in Logic. Like for instance, in Logic, if I want to make a beat here, I can use the piano roll, but I can also use the step sequencer. Okay? Like Let's see this. This is a hi-hat uh, pattern. Excuse me. I just, you know, did this as a step sequencer and, and, and tapped the notes in here like so. And so that option is not in GarageBand at all. So you just definitely expect that this is going to be a better, more fuller experience. Let's also talk about sampling. Okay. I, you literally have to, it, it's possible to sample in GarageBand. There's a, um, a plugin that you have to get. Um, I forgot off the top of my head, but it's a plugin that you have to you know get um, in order to sample in GarageBand. But with Logic, okay, they have something called the Quick Sampler. All right, you create a software instrument track. You can go over here to Quick Sampler Stereo, and literally anything that you want to sample, whether it's on your computer. Whether it's coming offline, as long as you download it, you know, whether you come over here, I can just, I could literally sample something right here within my beat. Like, I'm gonna play a little bit of this beat and just show, show you. So that's the beat. So like, say if I wanted to sample this, all I have to do is just open up this quick sampler and just drag this in to that quick sampler like so. Literally just sampled something right out of the session. You know what I mean? Like I can also do cool things like this, come over here and open up my quick sampler and drag this joint right in here like so. GarageBand, you can't do that even remotely like at all, you feel me? So those are some things that you want to expect when it comes to 
going from or switching from GarageBand to Logic Pro 10. Like I said, I'm going to go over it one more time. It's going to be number one, your sound selection. You're going to get a whole lot more sounds. Number two is going to be your mixing capabilities. You're going to be able to do a whole lot more on mixing. It's going to be a whole lot easier to mix it. And it's going to be, you'll be able to get a better sound based on, on things because you don't have to, you know, do it the hard way. You can actually mix it way easier in Logic Pro 10. And um, third is this sampling. You know, I mean, you'll be able to actually sample in Logic Pro 10 easily, especially if you go to Logic Pro 10.5. All right. So if y'all have any questions, if you, you know, you're using GarageBand and you have any questions about Logic Pro 10, feel free to put them in the, in the chat or the uh, comment section um, and let me know what y'all think of the video. Give me a thumbs up. It does help the ratings and all that good stuff um, if you like the content, man. So without further ado, we're out. Appreciate y'all. Got much love and respect. Um, Till next time. Peace.